Yesterday I got to ask Lisa G why she wouldn't sign that guy's book. And we have an answer this morning. But Ronnie, the limo driver, had a theory to me. I said, yeah, well, maybe she, she told everyone that she was about to come in here and she didn't want to be distracted. But Ronnie said that wasn't the case at and all. How long does it take her to sign her name that, and how exactly. difficult is that for her? I think she has an attitude like she doesn't sign things. Uh, that's what Ronnie thinks. But why is that? I don't know. I think Lisa... Is she thinks, like Ringo? Too many people asking her? You no, can't spend I, all day? You know how Lisa... like when she it, Before Lisa worked with us, she worked on a radio show with Dr. Dre and... Ed Lover, yeah. And Ed Lover. And she has this whole thing where I think she thinks she was bigger than she was. Well, she said she was chased down the street like yeah, a by her Beatle fans, or something. Yeah, like the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> so at first I thought, well, maybe she didn't want to sign because it's my book and she didn't write it or something. But but like everyone was just signing it, right, Ronnie? Yeah, I mean, everybody signed it and it was like, I felt bad for the guy because he just got his face with balls in it, with chocolate right. syrup and everything. And then like he, he, she refused to sign the guy's book and the guy even looked at me like, What's wrong with her? Right. You know, why wouldn't she? And, and she just gave him, like, a whole attitude. I don't know, Lisa. What That does strike me as odd. Like, oh, it's be, so true, Lisa. Don't even deny it. Come on. I think you would be complimented that... that I said to him I would sign his book after his segment. And you didn't. I, I, I left. I had, a go, I had an interview. Why Why after his segment? Why couldn't you... He, he was standing right there with him. Because I was waiting for Howard to call my name. And so what? So let's say if I called your name, then you just run in. Or you yeah, could have signed, signed it when you went out, came out. You were in the green room with him where he was He was in the green room where the radio was up. So you wouldn't have had to not listen to the show to sign the book. I just felt it was more appropriate for me. You're a priority to me. For, to, I'm waiting there for you. He walked out of the green room. I know that Ronnie doesn't like it when guests walk out of the green room. No, he, was, he was in the green room. But Not the one that he was assigned to. Yes, he I was. also heard on Super Fan Roundtable you wouldn't sign an autograph, too. Well, well, she wouldn't take a picture. She wouldn't take a picture, yeah. With who? Last time I took a picture with someone, Ronnie got a... Everyone got mad at me for taking a picture with the girl that came up here about the camel toe thing. Oh. She took a... So, you know, I don't know what's right, what's wrong, a picture, no picture, you know. So, your priority, I will sign an autograph if there's time and if, if I feel it's appropriate for me to be near a guest... I'll sign an autograph. And it's also a little strange that if it's your book, for me to sign your book, you know, I feel a little weird I about that, too. I think that's always going on. See, there is some of that. She's it's waiting to write her own book. That. <laughs> no, that's, that's not it. it at all. And also, let's say I'm at, I, I went to cover Artie's book signing at Barnes & Noble. I'm on a deadline. It's Artie's event. He's there to sign his books. I know a lot of fans wanted me to sign books and things like that, but I was on a deadline, and I had to get back to do my work, so my work's my priority. I, I, Ronnie, I, you don't buy it, right? No. What do you think's going on? I don't know. I, I, I can't figure her out. She could stand in, in that green room and talk to every guest that walks in here before, the, before they're interviewed by you. Right. But she couldn't sign the guy's book. Right. If Howie Mandel said, could you sign the book, she'd have signed it. Yeah, she was in there with Howie Mandel this morning. I wasn't telling, in there. Telling about cat hair on her on pants. <laughs> That's not what happened. He was being lint, de-linted. Oh. I, and I said to him just very friendly that, you know, I have that problem because I have a cat. I've got cat hair all over me all the time. Right. And when I was on the Food Network on Iron Chef, there was someone standing there with a lint brush, the entire taping, just de-linting you. Do you think he gives a shit about that? I just thought it was a funny story. So your point is that she has time to tell Howie Mandel about cat lists. Right, she but could she have couldn't sign the guy's book. Cause, cause and you, Howie and she was waiting for you to call, be called in, right. too. A lot of the guys the think thing. you think you're too good to sign the Oh, thing, no, that's not at all. No? Mm -mm. no, I just, you know, it's like, uh, am I in the I right, see, am I in the wrong? Sometimes I think Lisa thinks she's a big, bigger star because Lisa was on a morning show. Where she used to be chased around like she was in the Beatles. No, no <laughs> yes. Know. No, look, how this what's is... That thing, what's that thing on your Facebook page or your, your website? Lisa, you know, came to us and said, uh, you know, Gary said, whenever you have something really good, like a photo or something, you should put it on the HowardStern.com thing. So mm -hmm. she offered us the roll call tape. So we, we were like, well, what's a roll call tape? She goes, that was a very popular, uh, very, very popular part of the... What show were you on? The Dr. Dre show? It was Ed Lisa and Dre, the Hot 97 Morning Show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she goes, I am going to post the roll call on my website, but I'd give it to you guys if you want to post it. Uh, Howard and I said, well, what is, the, what is the roll call? I have to hear this. So Gary played it for me. I'm like, this was popular? What was, was it? was so popular. See, here's the what thing. Is, I still, I've listened to it twice now. I still can't even figure out what it is. Well, it, and you're not even in it. 
Yes, I am. You are? Yeah. Well, it was so popular. Uh, Howard, and people write you and say, we I need did to it at 7 20 every morning. That's how big it was. Listen to this. Robin, right. have you ever so heard so about that? We were in radio how many years? I've never heard about roll call. Never heard it. And you do It's the Roll Call? We did it for years. Let me years. hear you do that. Go ahead. What's up, y'all? What you got to say? Who's on the phone with Ed, Lisa, and Dre? <laughs> What? Howard, it was the biggest thing. You know how important 720 was every morning, right? Didn't PDs tell you to do something at 720? Who listen to PDs? What do you mean? Was 720s important? The, oh, that was the big that was the big break. We had to do contests <laughs> and stuff. Really? We, you don't remember that? Uh, no, we, we never had to deal that. with that. I never did it. Oh, I'm I so just, lucky. I was just number one. I never I know you 720. Were. You know what it is? I was I was doing something big every yeah. five seconds. Forget about 720. I was just about to say that. From six o'clock. Mm. To 11 o'clock. No, I mean, when you, you were first starting were out, something. that's what I mean. Uh, 720, you guys did that? No wonder you were You are so it. lucky. 720. Even Kid Kelly, we were talking about 720. 720. I wouldn't do that if it was 715. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 720. Did they ever do it at 721? Uh, no, 720. How about Lisa singing about Brownsville? Wow. She's never even been to Brownsville. Brownsville <laughs> in the house. Brownsville, Brownsville in the house. <laughs> Should we start doing roll call? Because those guys aren't on the air anymore. Maybe we need to take that over. It was so popular. Yeah. Huh? What, See, what when you... I talk to you about this, it brings up, I get a lot of uh, anxiety. Yeah, I Why? would too. Because I, with I 720, we had to do this and say uh, this then and do. Oh. Yeah, meanwhile, you're all off the air. I know. All that, all that well, Michigan. It's another whole story. I know. Why are you up the air? Was, this was so popular. What the hell happened? Howard, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what happened. The show didn't have ratings. Yeah, we did very well. You did? So and they, they, bro- get- they wanted the new flavor of the month. Really? Who was that? I don't know. It took them a, a year or so to replace us. I don't, I don't uh, even remember. I see. Uh, I never heard of that. When somebody's good, they keep them. I don't have a flavor of the month. Would you get rid of this? No. <laughs> when you got the roll call? Let's study it so we can do it tomorrow. 720. Now, what is it? It's all pre-produced, obviously. The girl is cut in. It's not live. That was live. Was it live? Yes, every she day. She was able to do that, that girl? Every morning. Wow. She'd be ready with a rap. The lines you, would do you have to always use this hook. song? You mean, end, you just plunked down the phone? Mm-hmm. And we had the track. We had the musical We're doing, track. Okay, gang. Every day at 7.20. Oh, get out of here. We're doing roll call. I'm getting tired of it already. And wait till our fans get on and and have to fuck this thing up. Let me hear this bed. You got to get me the bed, Lisa. All right, it's a... I could could probably get Scott to recreate it. But we got to get people from Brownsville to go on? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> no, I, I guess you could be from anywhere. Anywhere could do it. Like we'll get, in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Like we'll get Bobo doing it. <laughs> and yeah. then we had a contest at 720 every morning. It was the whole clear channel chain, I think, at 720. And look how well they're doing from following this 720 rule. Yeah, apparently se- somebody figured out 720 <laughs> yeah. and I mean, it's think about really how, working. Think how stupid that is. Like at 720, suddenly, so, you know, I know what Lisa's is referring to, of course. Uh, the, the, there's this whole theory with radio because program directors want to feel worthwhile, and it's all bullshit about dragging listeners through quarter hours. So if you at 7:20, you're it's an important time in the morning. It's drive time, and that's and, probably the highest quarter hours. And if you keep promoting something good, you could drag them through from seven o'clock to 7:20, so you get two quarter hours. Yeah. So th- it's so stupid because. If you're doing a good show, people are just listening. Who the fuck is going to all of a sudden program something special at 720? You better program something special every 10 seconds if you're going to keep a radio audience. How about just being good? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I never concentrated on 720, but I know what Lisa means. Oh, we would start promoting it at 6. Right. 720, we're doing roll call. Meanwhile, so you're waiting and waiting for roll call. Look what the hell it is. And roll call is nothing. And this is how we do it I every think day. I could live without this. <laughs> you sure could. <laughs> All right, now what you're going to do, Robin, <laughs> you're going to go. Every day, baby. And Artie's pretty good at rap, too, because he does Notorious well, B.I.G. Yeah, yeah. He could be back there going, roll call, roll call, roll call. <laughs> Every day, baby. Every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 720. And I'll be like, 720, this is how we roll. Every the roll day. Call. Every yeah. day. Every day, we do the same exact thing. Howard, I used to say to them in meetings, look, Howard Stern is number one. He talks. He talks about real life. Right. That's why he's number one. Right. Well, why didn't they listen to you, those two schlubs? No, not Ed and Dre. No, Ed. she's talking program directors okay. and stuff, I'm sure. What do you go into? You go into commercial after that, or do you go into uh, music? It's a 720. Stop. Probably. 
Mm. No, stop set. M- maybe because we already did the roll call. Look at the commercial. <laughs> then we want that seven thirty sweep. I didn't know how. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know how into radio you were. Look at you with your road calls and then your sweeps and your. I was your biggest fan. Wow. I used to go on all these TV network shows. Let's say if you got into trouble, yeah, sticking up for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, baby, you want to do roll call? <laughs> I want to do the roll call. All right. Uh, Fred, you got any kind of music I'll you can see give if me? I can find something. It's uh, the... Any Neil Young? <laughs> Hold on, LaQuisha. You got it. <laughs> All right. It's a roll call. It's, it's a roll call. It's a roll call. It's a roll call. LaQuisha in the house. Go ahead, LaQuisha. The Howard Stern Show do crazy stunts, and Lisa G is a stupid cunt. Uh, in the house, in oh, the house, yeah, no call, 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 call in the house. You the Howard Stern Show be the show for me, except for that stupid hoe, Lisa G. <laughs> Lisa G, 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 Lisa LaKeisha in the house. The Howard Stern Show make my pussy bitch. I want to punch Lisa G, that stupid bitch. <laughs> stupid bitch in the house. Stupid, stupid bitch, bitch in the house. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah, Howard, you the man. You dope. You off the head. You off the hook, nigga. Yeah. All right, thank you, LaKeisha. LaKeisha for Brownville, motherfucker. Don't forget it. All right, Brownville's baby. In the, the house. house. LaKeisha <laughs> in the house. All right, baby. There she goes. Uh, Quisha had several raps prepared. Yeah. Uh, she was good. Hope she calls in tomorrow. At 7.20. Yeah, I didn't like her calling Lisa G the C word. Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't think that was right. Went for the knockout punch right away. All right, let's go to Matt. Matt, you're on the air. Go ahead. Haverhill's in the house. Haverhill's in the house. Haverhill in the house. Every time you get a call, you get what you got to do. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, I was in that super fan trivia contest, and um, while I was waiting in the green room, like, Adi came in, gave us Jack and Coke, which is fucking awesome, by the way, Adi. Um, and I got pictures with everybody on the staff, including you, Howard, but Lisa G would not take mm-hmm. a friggin' picture with me. I, I, like, uh, why, Lisa? She's like, too good. Just like, no, no, no. Yeah. When was this? Uh, just I remember uh, when Matt was down here. He yeah, was, was one of the super, super fans man. from Boston. Yeah. 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 I asked you. We, Trivia contest. See, so the thing is, Lisa, like, if Lisa. I'm on the hallway and then Ronnie gets mad at me, it's, you know, I have to kind of feel out. All the, right. Lisa claims it's a Ronnie thing. No. It's Ronnie. It's, it's Ronnie. Ronnie. I'm not blaming you. It's just sometimes if it's very crowded back there, I've got to feel out the situation. Then Ronnie would go mad, clear out the hallways. You're taking a picture. I just have to feel it out. That's all. Oh, I'm not blaming you. What are you saying, Ronnie? Look at this shit. Is she hitting us, man? Really? She's off on this one. Yeah, definitely. It, was, it wasn't that kind of situation. When they want to clear the halls, it's because Lisa's usually sniffing around a celebrity to, you know, sort of have contact with them. This was a guy, a super nice guy, by the way, and everybody walked by. It was like it, it, the whole process would have taken, it took her longer I don't to say no him. than it took her to sign it. Right. Well, Lisa was well, part I of feel Rome badly. Dude, Lisa I, was part I of actually, a very big morning show. I took the guy's book yesterday, and I walked around and had everybody, oh, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. I had everybody sign it. Right, and I would have come back when I was doing an interview oh, when you were looking Lisa, for me at eight thirty. Signed it when you never even got called in yesterday. You could have signed the guy's book. No, Howard called for me, and I was busy doing an interview. I couldn't. I was oh, on the yeah, phone. Oh yeah, but how? I but thought I thought Howard's number one though. He is, but I was doing but an interview. Would have been unprofessional for me you to hang up the phone while I'm doing an interview. Yeah, Howard's number one. Remember in your eyes. I was doing my job. So, no, you're And you're not doing yours because you're who's guarding the halls out There's there. There's nobody here now. The guests are gone already. How do you know? Maybe someone snuck in. Nobody could sneak in. I'm in here. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nobody's going to sneak right. in here. I'm here. You two ought to get together, I swear. Yeah. No, Ronnie's no. Ronnie's obsessed with you. No. Yeah, they, they need to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I, I make a head spin around in circles. Ooh. Yeah? Whoa. Really? What do you mean? You don't think she's ever had it from a guy like you? Exactly. Oh, uh, God. Ronnie is good in bed. She needs a story. dirty boy like me. Yeah. You Definitely. Do, you would are you wearing your... heels today? No, I'm wearing regular. Yes, you are. The regular. They're regular shoes. There's like two inch heels oh, on his stop. shoes. It's the you same know, he shoes does look I wear all the time. Hey, Howard, can, I ask Lisa, can I ask Lisa? Yeah, don't, don't, don't deflect off onto me. Come on. 
<laughs> Lisa, after every single interview, right, you're out there and you do an interview with the guest, no matter who it is, you know, celebrity or whack packer, correct? What? I'm out where? In the hall. When the person comes out, you're there to interview them, right? Yeah. How come you weren't out there for that guy yesterday that wanted you to sign his book? I just told you I was doing a phone interview, and you guys were calling me, and I couldn't right. leave. I was in the middle of an interview. Howard was calling you, and I he wouldn't have not the one. Lisa, the, the interview was later in the morning. We wanted to oh, shit. Her. It was way later. Yeah, I, way later. Actually, we saw you out in the lobby when we were leaving. Remember, Howard? Yeah. I was doing said. another interview. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. She's well, that was Chris. You're too high and mighty. You're too high and mighty, Lisa. Yes, that's right. You're right. So you got to come down to the level of people. I know you were part of the Dr. Dre and Love I know, I will. And, uh, Starting tomorrow. I'd love yeah. to be part of that 720 rap. Yeah, you have a thing for Lisa, Ronnie. You, yeah, like man. Totally I'm telling you, I'm going to make a head spin. By the way, you look extraordinarily good today, Lisa. Thank you. I don't you. know what you're doing, but red you look good. Red is her color. Red Let's your color. Thank you. Wear red every day, and Ronnie will be all worked up. Yeah, I'm all worked up, man. Yeah. It is true. If you ever slept with Ronnie, he'd rock your universe. I've, I've really? heard stories about Ronnie as a lover. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie knows tricks. Well, who tell would tell her. you? He's tell the vagina Ronnie told me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's a vagina whisperer. Don't worry about it. Are you a vagina worry, whisperer? Look at it. She's blushing, man. He, he is. He, wow. Well, what? who would tell you? I mean, who would? Uh, I, I know people. He knows friends of mine. Yeah. I, like hey, Ronnie. Howard. Seriously, Ronnie is a, is a uh, player. I'm not kidding you. I like Tiger have, Woods? No, but I wouldn't. Uh, past Tiger Woods. Really? really? Tiger Woods is an amateur compared to Ronnie. You sexed? Uh, he a, doesn't need to see. I'm a Scorpio, baby. Just sex. remember that. You I'm sexed, a Scorpio, right? too. Yeah, look out. Oh. You're in you deep, sexed, you're right? deep shit. You sexed? Um, the text messaging? Yeah. Sexing? What's that? You sexed? Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what, did Ronnie say, give Ronnie permission to sex you. You will be turned on. Uh -huh. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Yeah. When's the last time you've had sex or even made out with a guy? I'd love to know that too. Oh. What it, what, give us a give us an ETA. We all, we all at the Stern Show would love to know that. The Has back office is you, over smoking over you? that. Yeah, I'd say. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna I'd be say frustrating. It's, I'd say it's more, way more than a year. No. That's shocking. You're cute, girl. Thank you. It's hard time? to meet people. Oh. Like you always say, you know, Ronnie. You got me right here, baby. Yeah. You Come know, on. maybe I gotta start looking at him. Differently. Have you been with a man since you've been at Sirius? I, you know, I've I've dated, yes. Dated, but you haven't really even kissed a guy since serious. Oh come on, Howard. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. You believe that, Ronnie? Yeah, I believe she kissed a guy. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know why he cares. It's so funny. I do. Everybody cares. They all want to know. The whole audience wants to know. You think she's had sex since we've been at serious? No. Negative. Wow. Is that true? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. All the way, from... all the way, sex. Why do people care? I'm not telling you about my sex life. All, all the way, sex. I, Ronnie, I'm going to tell you, you about get, my personal life. Have you been life. laid since I, you've been I'm here? I'm not going to. I'm not going to answer I that. I bet you haven't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's even in the car. He talks about Lisa. Wow. Uh, he's ready yeah. to end your drought, Lisa. Uh, yeah. Drought. If you want rain, <laughs> <laughs> you want someone to take the roll call. Yeah, right. Call him the He'll rain. He'll do the roll man. call. She's got to buy me dinner first, though. You would loosen. <laughs> I, I think Lisa would become crazy if you she know, was with you. know, Lisa would come in, her hair would yeah. be all tossed. All wild. <laughs> be fucking awesome, man. What about <laughs> all that NASCAR stuff? That's got to go. It would be fucking. I'm not, gonna, you're not coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want Lisa at your house? No. No. <laughs> hey, Where would you do it? In a hotel? Uh, nice motel on uh, Queens Boulevard. <laughs> a motel. One of those nice. quickie, yeah. hour long places. Yeah. It's so romantic. How many uh, hours do you need? Nice or, the, bathroom. or the old Q motor in, you know? They got <laughs> yeah, the, I've been there. <laughs> Take it to the, water, sure. the waterfall JFK? room. Is that JFK? <laughs> Not the one by JFK. You're, isn't that, where's the, that really, where's the one Union in the... Union Turnpike in the Grand Central. Right, right, right. Mm. Yeah. A long time ago. Why you do win a date with Lisa G? We did that already. All right, <laughs> one guy. Work. And the guy, the <laughs> guy lost. Bring, who are you bringing yeah. to uh, my, my I'm holiday just party? i myself. You're just coming on your own? No date. Mm -hmm. do a th we could do a threesome that night if you want. I did meet Mike Portnoy, though. <laughs> oh, no fireworks? Mm -mm. Gee, I thought you guys would have hit it off. Nice guy, he, Mike. He is a good guy. I just had a lot of him. We, do a do we could do a threesome that night. Ross killed that one. We'll go to EQ Motor in. Mike Portnoy, <laughs> yeah. I think Mike's dating somebody Man. now. Hey, Howard. Uh-oh. Yeah. Would Lisa be willing to bring in uh, guys on the air to, to vie to be her no, date for I the party? No, I don't want that. I don't want to bring in some stranger to the party. It's going to be a legit party. That'd be good, Richard. Mm. Maybe Lisa will meet a guy at the party. 
you know, these holiday parties from the office. You and Jared might hook up. Or she'll hook up with Ronnie. Maybe no, Ronnie maybe maybe she the... can hook up with the guy who washes the dishes in the back. Wouldn't it be crazy, like, at the party? Because <laughs> everyone's going to be dr- you, you drink, right, Lisa? Just a little. Yeah. Nah, Not she, very much. Nah, you can't man, have any fun. Dude, you know. I do have fun. <laughs> she needs a couple of fucking drinks, man. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, though, like, if Lisa yeah. got crazy with you guys dude, at the she party? she came to Rick's one night to cover a story on me. She yeah. was she ran out of that place. <laughs> I had asked her she for She saw one, the... one boob come out, and no. when she was out the they front door. all this glitter lotion and stuff. I had an asthma attack. She had an attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They had to call what an if a- she gets loaded and she starts making out with medicated Pete? They had to call an ambulance for her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ambulance. All right. I- can I go back to work? Well, go ahead. Go back. Hit, she has hey, you want to know something? Please be nice. Because I heard Lisa eats lunch by herself almost every day. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Right. Is that true? Well, I really don't have a lunch. I eat at my desk right. or downstairs for a quick. I'm so sorry. I heard, every- okay. I heard everybody leaves the newsroom when you eat lunch. Is that true? No. That's what I heard. Uh, Why would on. that be? Uh, I don't know. There's one uh, more quick Lisa G thing. I know it's late, but. I have to go. She's really pissed at Sal right now. Oh, you are? Why? Why? Because she gave Sal a gift and uh, she oh, the thinks. the picture? No. Do you want to tell it, Lisa? Oh, I heard about this. You gave Sal a gift and he threw I it away. I gave him a globe. Because he was so stupid on the geography test. So Sal took the globe and threw it in the glom no, box? No, But I asked him, I said, what happened to the globe? He said, Howard wanted us to clean up our offices, or Tim did, so I brought it home. Mm-hmm. So then Shuley said to me about a half hour later, come with me. And I walked back, and the globe was in the glom box. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it out. Yeah, he threw it out. And you're really mad about it? You I really was, think not you... anymore. I love it now on my desk. Right. It's such a nice thing to have. All right. Well, good for you, Lisa. And uh, thank you once again for answering these uh, questions. And congratulations on Roll Call. We're going to start doing that a little bit more. At, at 720. 720. 720 yeah, will be our yeah. time. Will you start promoting it at 6 when the show yeah, starts? I'm going to okay, start tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. But Fred, we need beds for the Roll Call. <laughs> All right. Okay, All right. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. An unbelievably hot older woman. Too bad she is a cunt. Oh. Lisa G is single because she is a snob and no man is good enough for that Jew princess. Oh, dear. <laughs> There's an angry guy who I, thinks I'll never get into her pants. Lisa, do you want to respond to this? Lisa is here. Is no man good enough for you, the Jew princess? Who is this guy? He thinks he's such a prize? He thinks he's a prize. He thinks he should have Lisa G. <laughs> Would you mind going out with this guy? Yeah, teach him <laughs> something or two. What a, what a thing to say about lovely Lisa G. How about we have him in here? Just yeah. to see. All right, I'm going to have him down here, this guy. <laughs> What's his problem? Why is he picking on me? Uh, he's mad. Why he is he a, picking on me? He had a tough day on the movie set. <laughs> it's a very famous actor. No, uh, yeah, he's picking on you. He says you would, you could have any man because you are an attractive woman. It's just that you're not. You're too picky. You're too you picky. Not picky. Except him. How old is he? It does, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have his MySpace account. You're considering him? <laughs> no, I just want to know where he's coming from. Yeah, well, I don't know where he's coming from. I think from. you know where he's coming from. <laughs> yeah. So, are you too picky? No, I'm have not too picky. Have you ever gone picky. out with, like, uh, a guy who... Like who? Uh, yeah, I've uh, gone out with all shapes and sizes. Yeah. And, yeah. Artie was speculating that he could get you. I what heard that. What did you that. say the other day? Well, I said I could get her. You said it wouldn't take much. <laughs> he wasn't, I said she's like, uh, I mean, it he wasn't was pretty a, clear. It wasn't a, you don't have to interpret it to. No, it, it, I said at this point, Lisa is like a wounded gazelle a, 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 <laughs> That's a, a, it. around a, like a, a pride of jackals. <laughs> uh, is Artie right? He no. could get you? No way. No, You're, I mean, if you well, were a little drunk, like, I, 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 okay, I could be totally wrong. Every but guy I got the, says the same thing. Oh, I could get her. Oh. I could do her. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> well, you know what? No, I don't. Know. At, at, at the party the other night, I got a vibe where if I had cornered you, you, you know, and said, hey, look, sweetie, it's. Uh... Party, you pretty but, much corner everyone. You know. Yeah, really. <laughs> he was the birthday boy. You'd have to give it up. Yeah, if, I had, uh, if I had thrown the old charm on you, like, you know. Oh, really? Like what? Give me an example. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, sweetie, let's. Uh, sweetie. Let's do it. I, like, uh, do you have the time? <laughs> do you really feel the, the time really to get to know me? Lisa's better? attracted to you? No, but I think for that one night, like <laughs> in other words, I think she's, I think she's so Uh-oh. frustrated right now that I'm not. <laughs> you could, I'm frustrated. I'm saying for one night you could get her. You know what I mean? I think, I think. It, do you think you're projecting that you're frustrated? No. Well, I mean, yeah, but I'm saying <laughs> she would probably wake up in the morning horrified. <laughs> 
but I, you know, I'm not saying it would be a lasting thing. But I think that'd be a good movie. In oh one, my you know, goodness. for one night, I think I could, I could tap you. Hmm. Wow. I, are you on heroin right now? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and, and then Ronnie said something to the. Oh, let's not even go. Ronnie there. agreed. Ronnie says that. He yeah. could get you no, too. No, no, it was Ronnie horrible. says he thinks she wants some rough bad boy. Oh, what does he know? Oh, he's out of his mind. I was like, what? Are you I think Lisa's very, very what gentle is he and saying? loving. Yeah, and she wants the right man. No, yeah, Ronnie thinks she wants some guy who's going to manhandle I'm, it. I'm not wanting anything right well, now. Well, you were saying to Beth, you would like to have a man. I know. No, no, I said it's hard to meet someone of quality. Right. And then you walked over, you heard the word boyfriend, mm -hmm. and then that's where you got, well, what oh, is she, your, wants, she wants a boyfriend. What's your idea of quality? What, what are you looking for? Obviously Somebody, it's not you. I mean, oh. yeah, what the fuck? I mean, so Is Artie quality? If it's not me, what's quality? <laughs> yes, Artie is quality. He has some issues, though, he needs to deal uh, with. Right. Or else well, he's he not going to be guy. a good partner. Well, what about, uh, everybody has that. Yes, but <laughs> yours right now are a little extreme. Lisa, have you ever been engaged? <laughs> Did you ever, like, come close to getting a uh, married yeah you did yeah engaged but I'm, no i've never been engaged but you but know, you did fall in love with people yes so what went wrong you backed out no backed i always out? say morning radio i was married to my job right the oh, hours that's... weren't easy like no. i'm not making excuses these were the choices i made but lisa you know if you were really in love with a guy you, yes i'm sure it. i would have probably changed my hours i would have done something but these were the choices i made and I don't look back. Is there anyone here at work, whether they're married or not, who is quality in your Everybody mind? Everybody is quality no. here. Is Fred quality? Yes. Every Everybody. Everybody. I, I am so blessed to be working here. I say that every day. Yeah, that's very, a, but, very but, little but, validation around here. I'll take it anywhere I can get it. But that's a good question, though. Yeah, forget about so, it. So, in other words, Fred would be marriage material for you. If he was single. And Jewish. <laughs> I can't, I can't remove the foreskin, sorry. only one super Jew. We found that out. Uh, right. Yeah. Is there anyone here that you're sort of like you you you'd go, Wow, I'd love for him to ask me out. No. Is there anybody you're sort of pining away from? No. <laughs> no. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Who's Jason? Jewish? Oh, here quality. we go. No. See, I'm, I'm telling you, I, Lisa, I love you and everything. We all talk about this in the office all the time. Lisa is in love with you, Howard. I don't She's think got, so. like a crush on you. I think I think I have good the ultimate guy, except you're not available. But mm. when you talk about stuff, she sometimes st stands at the monitor and stares at you. I do not. I'm looking at you, the monitor. You have love in your eyes for him. Oh, stop it! You're insane. So well, I, I have good taste. Position. You would go out with Howard. You would. You. Would, he's definitely. She said she'd go out with Fred Relationship too. material. Yeah, I think Howard is. Fred is. I'm not too tall for you. List? I think I'm too tall for Lisa. Anyway. What, what about Benji? Benji, no. I'm shaking my head. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Benji turned down that hooker the other day. <laughs> he's you know, quality. Benji has two sides to him because he's this great Hamish -a guy. He brings his family around, his mom, his sister, his nieces, his cousins. Hamish -a guy. Yeah. yeah that's that's Italian. Italian. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then he works here and he, I don't know who he is. Right. He, you know what I'm saying? All right. If you, I'm going to give you um, a he's hypothetical. He's working. You, you, you could have a relationship with one of these three people. You got to pick one. Okay. Ronnie the limo driver. Ooh. JD or Richard Christie. Richard Christie. You would choose Whoa. him. Really? Wow. He is hysterical. Really? What about the smelly balls and all? No, he showers. I, I, I have an exclusive interview with his girlfriend. He doesn't oh. shower. He's showering. He's, he's bullshitting. She him. never smells anything but pumpkin spice body wash on him. He's never smelly. All right. Isn't that Okay, crazy? here's your next one. Oh, okay. You got to become the lover of one of these men. <laughs> Scott, the engineer. John Hine. Or Jason? John Hine. John Hine wins. Hands down. Mm -hmm. Who's second? <laughs> Jason. <laughs> See? You don't want to hear about Scott Turnian? <laughs> Fuck Scott everyone. is just always in a bad mood. Yeah. I couldn't live with something like that. Right. Something. Yeah. Some, <laughs> right, the black cloud. That's what I mean. All right. Now, here's the toughest one I'm going to ask you, and this is the last one. This is the toughest Fuck one I'm going to ask you. Jason. <laughs> exactly. Benji. <laughs> Or J.D.? Jason. All right. Thank you. At least he's taking care of his problems. <laughs> <laughs> he's on medication. He yes, is? Would you like a happy pill? All right, you ready? But what about Ronnie, the, Ronnie the limo driver, high pitch Eric, or a oh. dog. You have to marry a dog. <laughs> a dog. <laughs> a dog would win. <laughs> Hello? 
Lisa. You're back, Greg. Where have you been? I've uh, I've been working on a project. Really? Special assignment. Did you like my choices? They didn't say your name. I would have said you. Really? Oh yeah. Well, I was going to ask you: Is there anyone up here, you know, who's appealing to you? Because you were you pretty much shot everyone down. No, I did not. Besides Howard. And Fred. Well, he's super Jew. <laughs> Put all the options within all three. Well, because it's like, like working with brothers. So, so you think of everyone more in context of a friend. Yeah, as brotherly right. and co-workers. Well, and I did Howard? pick Jason. Crazy from that. Yeah, reluctantly yeah. picked me. That's what I mean. Reluctantly. She seemed to reluctantly pick everyone besides Howard. Yeah, that, Fred, maybe. I, that was a long pause, and quite frankly, I was up against Scott. So. And I'll pick second behind. Who was I pick second behind? I don't know, John. John Hine. Hine. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. At least it's a piece you of. You know, ass. it's funny. I picked. Uh, yeah, take your shit. Get out. Yeah. I'm yeah. In bad Everybody's mood. in a bad get mood. I'm take always your in shit a bad. Get out. I couldn't live with something like this. Yeah. So don't come into my studio. Yeah, don't out. bother me anymore. Yeah. Hang out with Richard Christie. <laughs> Tough stud. Right. Wow. I know. Oh no! Yeah. Now Scott won't talk to Lisa anymore. What a bad mood. Now I'm really in a bad mood. Stay out of our studio. The tables have been. Turn. I know. The diner is closed to you. Yeah, Wait. In the smelly ballroom. Yeah. Now what about this Artie Lang guy? Richard, yeah. I picked He's you. Come here. Yeah. Everyone, That's look. So I got nice kicked of out of Scott's studio. I'm honored. Thank you. I Welcome. I pick Richard. She's seen his dick so many times. <laughs> I guess she wants a piece of it. Yeah. It's a nice looking one, isn't it? <laughs> Ron, <laughs> Ronnie, you, well, hold on. Ronnie the jokester. Out of Scott's studio. Oh, no. He got very upset. Yeah, he said I called him a thing. Oh. <laughs> Robin, now you're taken, but, you know, who would you advise Lisa to date? <laughs> who would I but I'm not taken, first of all. <laughs> but who would I advise Lisa to date? I'm still trying to get you. Yeah, no. What about Chris? That's what I said. What about Chris? You had your shot on you and you sold me out, Robin. I sold you out? Yeah, you said you were just throwing a diversion tactic. Well, I had to say that on the air. <laughs> what do you think this is? This is, this is our TV. But I'm talking to you now, so oh. now Ooh. I'm diverting from somebody else. Oh. So... <laughs> So maybe you're not taken. I'm not taken. Who's taking me? Oh, okay. I'm married to Howard. It rhymes with quarantine. Oh, please. <laughs> Put in a word. We'll just call I him Jimmy F. I think that you'll be reviewed favorably. Oh. Oh. Yes, good hey, Greg. For, uh... Greg, no. you got to go hit that. I know. Give me a camera. <laughs> Here's Benji. She's you hot to try. I think you get her no, in the booth right this now. This is a very good way for you to keep it secret, so I appreciate it. Oh, that. there you go. See, that's what I mean. Oh, you're the home record that broke up Benji and Sheila? <laughs> no, no, no. But you have told nice me, Lisa has told me I'm one of the handsomest or most handsome, whichever you prefer, guys here. What, That's what not what I Benji? said. What'd you say? Do you have a headache? Yeah, are you, no, no, are you hiding your sweat? <laughs> you're hiding my hair. No, I said you have beautiful blue eyes. You've said that you've talked to experts, and the experts said. Yeah, the, the experts said, yeah. That I am one of the most, that I am the most handsome guy here. I don't remember the exact quote, but they loved your blue eyes. All right, well. But he's elusive, though, Lisa, right? He, he's, there's he two sides is, to him. yeah. He is the greatest guy. He brings around his family. We laugh. And then you cannot have a conversation with him. Converse. We'll talk. You, can, you, you cannot talk. I can talk. You I'm cannot. A, I'm a dream. Can, I cannot have a conversation with, right with you. <laughs> I'm actually a great conversation. We could, I guarantee you, and this is not, not because I want to, yeah, I guess I do want to prove something. I guarantee you if we went out to eat, not a date, but if we had an approach for a friendship and we sat and ate, we'd have a wonderful conversation. Do you believe him? I think that when, you, when you're when you trying to do whatever it is you're trying to do, you should put your armpit down. I think exposing your armpit is really odd. I just hate how I'm doing ball. No, it's more odd. It's just more odd Benji behavior. Like, put your arm I, I down. I forgot my hat today. And just, um, I think if you guys went out to dinner, seriously, I think if you guys went out to dinner as a friendship and normal Benji showed up, you'd, you'd have normal a great time. Benji. But he never shows up. No, no, when you when you said on the air, I laughed. I go, that's the story of my life. You know, there's this one guy who's like really normal, and then this other guy shows up to work who I I don't always entirely know. <laughs> it's you. So let's, it's go out, frustrating. let's go out for a friendship dinner sometime, okay? Okay. Who's right. paying? I'll pay. I'll cover it. Really? No, yeah, of course. I've walked home with Benji before. <laughs> yeah. We was, walked. That was pretty good. That was pretty normal. But you know what I'm saying. 
We've got our own version of JD right here. I want to go on a friendship dinner with you too. I would like to do. I would like to go on a friendship dinner. You know, I would you too. Know, man. Maybe we should go out to dinner one. You know, I would love like to. Maybe we should go out to dinner one night when we just happen to be in the same bar. Act normal. Guy talk. Yeah. yeah. And with you will be guy. Maybe if you bring some cigarettes, we can get some hookers. John Hines here. John Hines on the wrap-up show at eleven o'clock, and also the guy who owns the website. What, is, what, what was that again? Jump the Shark. I no, I no longer own the website. You used to own it. Yes, I did. Yeah. What, else, what are you going to be doing on the wrap-up show? Lisa G. had some tough choices to make when she came in to read her headlines this morning. We'll see how everyone here is feeling about Lisa's choices. Everyone if was speculating about Lisa after this. Gary told me out in the halls. And th there are guys here who think Lisa might be a virgin. No. Do you know that? Stop do I, it. Do you know that people think that? I know it's been floating around. Yeah. Really? The, the, the thing is that... Um, three theories. Three theories. Go ahead, give the three theories. One of the theories is that Lisa's a virgin. One of the theories is that um, you can count Lisa's sexual partners her entire lifetime on one hand and have fingers left over. And the other theory is that Lisa has not had sex since she's been at Sirius. Wow. Who, whose theories are these? Everyone. I got to tell you, Lisa gets a lot of guys talking to the office because you know, she's got a, she got a smoking hot body and stuff, and we don't know anything about her. She doesn't tell you a thing about her, so now everybody just sits around and speculates. Well, why do you speculate? Well, well let's ask. Uh, why we do, but why she is there some work going on? Yeah, why is, why is no one working? Why are they all talking about Lisa? Well, this is turning into work. <laughs> like, after she came out of the studio, we were talking about some of this on camera, and I said, you know, she goes, I know, I want to know, what, you know, when was the last time I got laid? I said, I'm going to ask you that. Have you had sex since you've been it's here. She's like, I'm not going to answer that. Uh, so now it just makes us talk more. Right. <laughs> uh, well, who would she have banged? She doesn't. She doesn't seem to be going with anybody. She here. meets guys. She's. A, she has an outside life. But how do you know that? I mean, but I mean, what do you mean? How do I know that? I mean, I don't know that she's had sex, but I, I imagine if she wanted it, she could get it. But at some point, we imagine that she could have yeah. a life, but nobody knows anything about it, and she never talks about she it. She might be asexual. She's, That's what we were sort of saying. Yeah. She has uh, those cookie parties every year. She has friends. <laughs> the cookie parties are all chicks and gay dudes. Fred, you were asexual for many years. Do you yeah. sense that she's asexual? No. You no, do not? I, 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 think she, uh, I think she's particular. Right. That, I think. Well, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. can understand that, John. I don't know why... You try, you try to say she's not. <laughs> All right, uh, what else? Well, we'll continue that debate. Uh, Plus, hearing the stuff from the do mail. You think, does anyone here think Lisa could be a virgin? No. no. I don't. No. Uh, I doubt that. She right. said she was almost engaged. Do you think she was saving herself for marriage? Then? Surely is in here. He's, he made a point. He said she's the only person he knows that went to hedonism and didn't get laid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but have but you seen those people at hedonism? There are people who point out that Lisa G eats lunch by herself every day. Oh. <laughs> they do. I told they me that. They do? They yeah. say she eats lunch by herself? Where is she? I'm going to ask her why she eats lunch by herself. <clears throat> like there's nobody to eat lunch with. How about, hey, how, how about the last... What? The last three years. Would you easily believe that she's not had I sex? I can believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I can believe that. How many years back would you go and three say... Three years. I, w I could believe that Lisa might not have had sex for three years. Would you go ten years? No. No. No, I won't. Okay. I won't go ten years. <laughs> I mean, the woman is, well, how old is she? And Lisa, def I don't know, I don't ask. Nobody asked, ask, and, and let's not bring that up. She's got to be in her late 30s, at least. That's all I'm saying. Late 30s, come on. <laughs> hey, J I, think I think she's on her way in. Good, and, and Lisa's defense, J.D. went to hedonism, and he didn't get laid either. <laughs> he tried. He tried, though. Lisa, do you want to address any of this? I'm curious, actually. Now I'm kind of caught up in this. What about the three accusations? Number one, <laughs> that you're a virgin. Are you? No. No, I don't think so. I don't know what the big deal is. I told everyone I'm taking a break. <laughs> you are? You said that? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. What She's do you mean? far from a virgin. I, she slept with black guys. Oh, stop it. No, she no. didn't. Who I slept with that? Mrs. Butterworth? Did she? Why are you huh? saying that? That she slept with? You don't so know anything that's, about I it. I thought that that was a thing we no, said. No, she and worked so at Black what Radio. I did? Well, you're making a big deal about it. <laughs> I am not. Yes, you are. You went, whoa, and I did not. Whoa. When you said you were taking a break, when did, did, did the break start three years ago? No. I'm just <laughs> taking a break. I'm leading my life. That's what I told you. Yeah. So how so long So what is, is the... Why, I, why This is, is not so, me. I don't spend a minute thinking about this. So What's so hard about a single woman being okay with being single? The people what is the big deal? I don't... It's, but why take an intentional break, then? I'm just taking a break. Did something I'm just bad happen? My... 
No, I'm j- see. That's the thing. Why does it have to be? Because you're taking a break. Why are you taking a break? I mean, why aren't you just seeing what happens? That's, that's the question. Yeah, why you're you officially stating you're taking a break? That's a right, big deal. Right, like I'm not Something doing a dating some- online dating service. I'm. When did the break start? I don't even know. Oh my God, I would know. <laughs> You. <laughs> if I stopped seeing women for a while, you don't remember. You never like, hear well, me say I'm, I'm. I'm taking a break. I've from never women. heard you taking a break. If a remember. woman comes along, I'm. Ta- I'm just, not ta- uh, my break go, is over. When's the last just time? at the end of the summer. Oh, so just at the end of the summer. So within the last three years, you've had a romance. Yeah, yeah I've been. Da- I've been dating. But have you had romance? Mm. What do you mean by that? Like, has she slept with someone? Uh, well, romance. I don't want to be. I don't want to be uh, too uh, too. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we no, I mean more than that. <laughs> have you been invaded? <laughs> <laughs> Has uh, you have you kind of like conquered. you going in your cookie closet? Yes. Uh, have you really have you had a romantic <laughs> relationship with a man? Yes, I have. In the last three years. Yes, I have. Oh, you have. Okay, yes. so the break isn't that long. She said it's what? the end of the summer. Okay, okay. Just okay. taking a, a right. full break. Why are people... Uh, can I just tell you, when she said that collectively, seven guys out here just went bullshit. Why? Uh, Why? She can certainly get men. Why, Why isn't that possible? Why, what, well, you know she can get men. There's obviously enough of you yeah, guys Yeah, you guys all want her. No, we, see, <laughs> no, we, no, they're just talking. <laughs> they're just talking. They're angry guys. This all started because we said in the time that we've been at Sirius, there's probably been five or six events. It was, you know, the Howard birthday party... The engagement party, the Artie party, and Howard and birthday. Right, and Lisa's never shown up with a dude. I haven't been invited. <laughs> no, you were invited <laughs> to my party. You were invited to, to my party. party. You were invited to Artie's party, certainly. You're at the Artie right, party. Right. Well, I'm yeah. not married, and I'm not seriously involved with someone, so I wouldn't just take a date. Right. You wouldn't take a date. You wouldn't. Uh, just... Gary's got no. that. I don't believe her smile right. on his face. Uh, somebody who's who sort of speaks for the office is on his way in. <laughs> All right, oh, let's hear. Him. Let's hear. Him. Let's Here get it out in the open. Go ahead, Will. What do you want to know? <laughs> yes. No, I, let's. I. I don't believe it that she's had sex and she's been in serious. And I, not a matter that you can't get a guy. It? Because she's just kind of sexless. Do you want to take a lie to take I'm her? sexless. I'm at work. What she's am I supposed gonna be, to be She's doing? not running around coming on you to know, people. This, Every time I ask her what she does on the unfair. weekend, it's like, oh, I'm hanging out with a friend, a female friend, or, you know, I got a cello concert or <laughs> some kind of <laughs> whatever she does. Life you're describing. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Right. She's never, I'm not there's never tell a dude. You play the fiddle, right? I play the violin. She's not going to talk to you about it. That's fine, but she's so uptight about sex in general. She you know want to what? Talk to you. I bet Lisa, much like me, you have no idea what Will's sex life is all about, do you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you don't question whether I have sex, which I everyone do, else in the song does. I do. Believe me. Do. <laughs> I questioned for years if Fred has sex. The world sex. is That's true. so lopsided. But I really don't think about whether you have sex or not, or whether you. I, when you said you had a girlfriend, how, because I have a girlfriend. How do you girls? But I was shocked because I don't care about your life. How do you girls? And Robin, I'm <laughs> Thank lumping, you, Robin. I'm lumping Robin in with this too because she's been known to do this whole, you know, kind of. Take a break thing. Uh, how do you girls live without it? I mean, if a, you know, I don't think you're really taking a break. If a hot guy comes along and wants you, your break is officially over. Yeah, that's when you know it's over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of lame but to I say think, I'm me, taking a break. Let me ask you a question, I mean, Robin. You're not and taking, you're taking a, and Lisa, does it take a really special guy to make that log jam burst, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way: the other, the other night, the other night at my party, the other night at my party, if I uh, uh, sashayed over to her and oh, whispered please. in her ear, "Break over," <laughs> oh, yes. break would be over. You know what? I take. No, a break. I found a lot of hot chicks take a break for me, and I don't know about it. But... I mean, I take a break about four minutes after I finish, and then I'm back. I'm back done <laughs> then, with my break. Yeah. It's weird like to make a conscious women decision. Are like I'm taking differently. a break. Wait a minute. Really men are. and women are wired differently. No. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Not really. And it takes an emotional toll on a woman. You guys don't care about your SL. emotions, and we don't like going through that all the time. Mm. So sometimes you have to take a break just so you you feel like doing that. Again. Again. Is I there a guy you dated named Alan? He says he's on the phone. Not, this yes, is not, it is. I it, talked to this guy before. Oh, really? Oh, this is not. She doesn't guy. want to talk to him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. yeah, she, you, know, you don't want to talk. She don't want to talk. I can tell. I but coined the phrase, Robin. Men are from 
Mars and women are from Venus. Who is, <laughs> who is this guy? He shows up at your events as security, and he's not. Oh. I'll just put it that way. Well, at least okay. you know when you took a break from men. <laughs> See what happens out there? Who's El Creepo? No, I didn't hear from him for three years until I started to work here. It's oh. very, it's disingenuous, and he's not worth it. He, he, he had a funny story about Lisa, though, about how she would always make him put on his seatbelt when they rode together. It was like having a mom as, nice. as your girlfriend. But you, wh- what I make Beth put on his seatbelt. Yeah. I always say to anyone in the car, put a seatbelt on. A, a girl you just met, you want to be henpecked like that? The first time hen-pecked? you meet her? Anyway, she's thinking he's about it. He's a jerk. It. <laughs> you just met the guy. You're telling him to put on his uh, seatbelt? At this point, oh, you can done. get a ticket for the oh, front geez. seat passenger Yeah, thank you, being, Governor Corazine. Go ahead, next. Being uh, belted in. <laughs> But in my size, Dana would say, try to put a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> <How dare you? laughs> well, look, it's none of my business, and uh, I uh, wish hey, you luck. You know what, Lisa? Welcome to my world. They're constantly <laughs> and endlessly it's fascinated not fair by because any you would, woman right, in the office. You would never do this to a married guy or have sure Steve Langford in the same position. Do you have sex with your wife? How come you don't? Oh, uh, you know, all whatever. the time. Howard asked No, him. you don't. Yes, he did. He asked him about his what? penis, and he won't answer the question. That's, that's not the well, same thing. John Ein doesn't he's masturbate. he's taken care of because he has a wife. If I'm, you had a husband or a boyfriend, this would all go away because they would assume everything. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Exactly. So, but I she doesn't. Well, why does it bother you that a woman doesn't? Well, it's not a woman. I talk to Lisa every day. We talk to her. She's always in the office, so we, yeah. these things come up. They do? Yeah. So you don't even care what I'm doing on the weekend. You're just prying. I ask you every weekend, and it never involves a dude. But you're still trying to figure out whether it will involve a dude. You're waiting for that day. No, the question was... Yeah, but what woman ever walks into a room and goes, oh, this weekend I'm getting banged hard? No, she doesn't have to I went guy, on a date. Don't talk like that. Uh, I'm excited about this guy I'm going out with. You never hear any of talk to you idiots like that. Yeah. You, meet, you gotta meet a guy, Philip. No, great. Right. We get to hear about our cookie parties instead. <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> December 8th, by the way. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> You're having it's another so cookie party? funny. They're just yeah. obsessed. Right. I don't care. She does a hot body, though. <laughs> hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Lisa, okay. thank you. And you're doing a great job as a reporter. In oh, this thank you. <laughs> you know, I really don't care what your sex life is. I mean, I do, but I try to act like I don't. Okay. All right. Can I just yes. add one piece of information? Oh, all right. Sure. She, she called me up a couple days ago from recital, and she's like, hey, you want to hear some cello? And if somebody says that to me, they're not getting laid. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if one of your buddies says you want to hear some cello, you're like, it's never happened. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, good for you, Lisa G, right, who plays you. the cello. Thank you. I have a life, and now I feel badly about it. Oh, you don't have to. Don't worry. You lead your life, woman. <laughs> and remember, Artie's always there for you. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. You guys wish that every woman was so desperate she'd have to come in and say, I'm just banging anybody because I, I can't don't. find a guy. Exactly. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with whatever she... This Beatle is as bad as can be no He's the best. This is Pedro. Is as bad as can. He knows he's the best.